Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In last week's video, I played a chess game against Delta Airlines in Flight Entertainment Chess Program. This is the link to that video. In this video, what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and analyze the game that I played on the airplane flight. I had the white pieces and I hope that you will find this video to be instructive so you can improve your own chess skills. Okay, I had the white pieces. I opened up with e4. Again, you want to do that because you want to have at least one pawn in the center. Delta Airlines um, chess program um, move the knight um, over here. And this is called Akilun's defense. I don't know if, if I'm pronouncing that right, but oh well. Um, and right now the knight is attacking this pawn, so I needed to do something. So I decided to push the pawn up. Now the pawn is attacking this knight. Delta Airlines um, actually moved the pawn up, and this is a mistake because the pawn is attacking the knight. Do you remember the value of the pieces? The pawn is worth one point, the knight is worth three points, the bishop is worth three points too, the queen is worth nine points, and the rook is worth five points. And of course, you can't forget about the king, and the king is worth the entire game. So I like to tell my students it's worth one million points. You want to always ask, if I move here, where is my opponent going to do? And you also need to ask, can my opponent safely capture a piece? Obviously, I'm attacking the knight. Um, Delta Airlines should have um, moved the knight over to d5 to get avoid getting captured. Okay, but anyway, pawn e6, I captured the knight, of course, with the pawn. And then he, and then the Delta um, Airlines chess program um, moved the knight here. I really think that he should just, um, the Delta Airlines app program should just take the pawn. But okay, pawn takes, bishop takes. That's a good move because if, if he doesn't take this pawn, um, I am threatening to capture this rook. Um, and I would um, promote the pawn to a queen. That would be really bad for Delta. Okay, so bishop takes, I go here. It's important to get the knights and the bishops out. So I go here toward the center. Rick goes here. I think that this is a funny looking move because he really, I'm sorry, well, I can't say he because Delta Airlines um, chess program is actually a computer. So the com Delta Airlines computer should maybe move the pawn up to d5 to get control of the center, but um, um, he, um, the computer ends up moving the rook to b8. Okay, fine. Knight out, pawn here. Okay, that's a good move. I go here. I want to have at least one pawn in the center, so that's why I moved it here. Okay, so Delta's um, chess program um, moved the pawn to e5. I decided to just take it. Bishop takes. And then I, since I'm up material, I wanted to um, trade down. I end up just taking um, the bishop. And then um, Delta's chess program um, took the knight back. I went here. The reason why I went here is because I wanted to castle and I didn't I wanted to keep my bishop on the board. I mean if I move my bishop here, um then the knight can just take it. It's always important to ask if I move here, is it safe? I mean technically it is safe to go bishop to d3 since the knight and the bishop are worth the same. But I like uh, my bishops. Okay. Pawn goes here, and then I'm just going to ask you a question. What should you do? You want to ask, is um, is my opponent um, a attacking anything? Yes, the pawn is attacking the knight. The pawn can safely take the knight. Therefore, this is a real threat. Because of that, I ended up going um, moving, moving the knight to e4, and this is safe. It's important to ask if I move here, is it safe? So moving the knight to e4 is safe. It's good move. 
And then again, you still need to ask questions before each move. What is my opponent attacking? Okay, the bishop is attacking the knight. Is this a threat? Yes, because the knight is not protected. Oh, we need to do something about that. I decided to move the knight to g3. Now, if you realize, the knight is attacking um, the bishop. Delta Airlines um, move the pawn to a6. Is this a good move? No. Okay, so what's what should you do in this position? Yes, you should just capture this bishop. This bishop is not protected. Let's just win another piece. So that's exactly what I did. Queen goes here. And again, you want to ask, can I... Um, can your opponent safely capture a piece? And the answer is yes. This queen is attacking this knight. And you want to always ask, can I safely capture a piece? Um, if I move here, is it safe? If you realize the knight um, can safely take this pawn, um, and that's exactly what I did. Okay. Delta Airlines um, chess program, move this pawn here. Of course, you want to ask, um, can my opponent safely capture a piece? The answer is yes. The pawn is attacking this knight. So what do I do? Of course, I have to move it. I end up moving the knight here. Of course, when you move a piece, you want to ask if I move here, is it safe? This is a good move. Okay. Takes. Okay, what do I do? I take it back with my bishop. And the reason why I do that, because I want my pawns to be together. If I took the knight with my pawn, then um, my pawns um, would be double isolated. And this pawn would also be isolated too. This is not a good pawn stretcher to have. I wanted my pawns to be happy. I wanted my pawns to be together. So that's why I decided to take it with the bishop. And look, my, now my bishop is on the long diagonal. Okay, so Delta Airlines um, castle, and guess what? I castle too. It's important to um, castle because the king is on the side of the board and these pawns um, protect the king. Rick goes here. You want to always ask, can my opponent safely capture a piece? Answer, yes. This rick is attacking this queen, so I need to do something. Also notice this queen is also attacking the bishop and also um, this um, pawn too. Um, but is it safe for this queen to take the bishop or this pawn? The answer is no, because these pieces are protected. See, this bishop is protecting the pawn. The queen and the pawn are protecting the bishop. Okay, we have to do something about um this th um about this threat right now i end up um, moving my queen to e2 i did not want to go bishop to d2 because then my bishop would be pinned um and that means that I, um, on the next move it would not be safe for me to um move this bishop okay i end up, end up going queen e2 okay queen here what's the best move here do you know of course it's very important to ask questions one good question is can i safely capture a piece is it safe to take this pawn with the queen no is it safe for this bishop to take this pawn no are you attacking anything else yes this bishop is attacking this queen i'm gonna go ahead and just took it and that's what i did during the um, um in the game rick goes to d7 you want to ask again can I safely capture a piece? Yes, I can. My bishop is attacking the rook. I decided to just take it. Zach is in a losing, completely losing position, but still has hope because he has a rook. But if, oftentimes if you're playing against a strong player, they would often resign. But if you're just starting out in chess, never resign because your opponent might make a big mistake and you can get back in the game. Rick goes here again. Can my opponent safely capture a piece? Yes, it's this bishop. We have to move it. Or maybe not. I decided to move my queen here because I wanted the queen closer um, to this king. And also the queen is it's protecting this bishop. So this is good. Rick goes here. Again, what's the best move? Again, ask the question, can I safely capture a piece? Yep, I can just safely take the rook. This is a huge mistake. 
I decided to take it. Delta Airlines um, moved the king to g7. And then I end up going here. Notice this bishop is not doing anything. Let's get this bishop and attack the king. That's why I decided to go bishop to e5. It's checking the king. This bishop is on the long diagonal. King goes here. And then what do I do? I um, end up taking the pawn with my queen. And, you know, to do a checkmate, your queen um, should be very close to the king. I like how this king um, is in the um, on, on the side of the board, so this is actually good for me. And this king is in the is in a really bad place because my bishop is controlling um, these um, this this square next to the king. This bishop is also controlling um, this square next to the king. This my queen is also attack um, attacking the g6 square and also the. Um, h5 square too. So this king is not in a good place right now. Delta Airlines um, chess program moved upon to h um, to b5. And now my question is, what is the checkmate right now? I can do a checkmate in one. Do you um, see it? Okay. And the checkmating move is queen to f6 and this is a checkmate the reason why is because the queen is checking the king the king can't go to these squares it obviously cannot capture its own pawn and the king cannot go to h5 because of this bishop let me know what you thought about this video by um, commenting below if you like watching my videos please subscribe to my channel and if you like um, watch my, if you like watching my um, videos, I also invite you to be a buy me a coffee supporter. Okay, goodbye.